welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to configure work center formula right under work center i am in the posting view you can see we have i have a lot of formulas okay so if i view the work center is is the dr03 in sap under costing you can see i have used the formulas for setup time machine time labor time I have used different different formulas. So based on our routing, so uh, using these formulas, it will calculate uh, these values when it replicate to the production order. In scheduling also, we can use uh, formulas. Capacity is same. We need to do some additional configurations if we need to allow these two capacity in work center so this is the spro part that we are going to use to configure work center formula it's in inside the production so you go to basic data and work center and under costing work center formulas here we have two things define work formula parameters for work center and the define formulas for work center so formula contains parameters right so in the in this work center my formula is for the setup time is scp001 right so if i view the scp002 is for machine time right i'll open that one so these are my parameters see 2 into second parameter into 9 divided by 8 and divided by 11 so if I to better explain if I paste the name of these parameters right so my machine time formula is machine time into operation quantity okay divided by base quantity and divided by operation speed so this is the already existing formula in SAP so I can write any formula using these existing parameters or uh, new parameters I can create a parameter so these indicators are important here yeah, allowed for calculations it means that parameter is allowed for uh, costing allowed for scheduling scheduling in the sense if you tick that one you can use that formula in the scheduling tab in work center right so if you want to allow it for capacity requirement you have to tick that one then only you can use these formulas here right okay now shall we check uh, how we are going to configure the parameter Here, I'll open the existing parameter. Okay, what is that one? SAP underscore uh, zero two. That is for machine time. Zero one is for setup time. Okay, zero two here. Okay, the origin is two. Standard value in the operations. Okay. So that the standard value means in routing if you, if you go there see that field is the routing here that one, that one. So 2 means it will take the value that you put there in the routing ok and the, the another parameter is base quantity see it has a field name bmsch so if you go to the routing Click that one. See the field name B M S C J. See for that. So that parameter represents this base quantity field in the routing. So like this way, you can uh, create the parameters. Okay, I'm going to uh, define a new work center formula right 
I'll give a name ZSAP01 and I give a description. Okay, I'll do some explanation use this text. Notepad here assume your base quantity is 10 it means you need uh, here in the routing you have base quantity 10 it means you need 2 hours of machine time to produce these 10 pieces right here in this routing it's 1 so operation quantity is as, as 100 it means you are going to create a production order quantity of 100 then what should be your expected machine time so below is the calculation if it is 100 you need to divide the machine hour of 2 by machine time by 10 and you multiply it by 100 then it will be 20 hours so I can write this equation as machine time into operation quantity divided by base quantity Okay. Now I go to the formula. From I'll open okay. the parameter as well. I'm going to put these parameters into my notepad. Then it will be easy. No? So what is that one? First one is machine time. It's SAP underscore zero two right into operation quantities SCP underscore zero nine and put that one and my the last one is base quantity field that one is SCP underscore zero eight divided by that one so this is my uh, formula okay so what i do is i go to new entries and give a formula name and i copy and paste from my text text file so i allowed it for calculation capacities and scheduling as well then i put a save and i create a new tr give a meaningful name that's very important and uh, press save okay that is done so my new formula is is it sap01 now i go to my work center change is C A C R 0 to okay. inside the uh, capacity tab okay. for scene tab uh, I am going to change the formula to the new one is it SCP 0 1 okay. now in capacities also I can change scheduling tab also I will change you know we select some indicators now if we haven't select that indicator for scheduling I can't use that formula here I can use but it will not calculate the values that's it thank you please subscribe my youtube channel